welcome to this uh, YouTube channel. This is Sichamba Jacob. We've got this question where we've been asked to find the equation of the line BC. By the way, to those people who are seeing this video for the first time, please note that this is a code geometry. Okay? So for the line BC to be found, we're supposed to think of what we call gradient. So gradient is denoted using letter M. Now when we check nicely, there are no coordinates right here at C. We don't have the coordinates. So we can't go direct with finding the equation of this line. So this gradient has got a formula which is M is equal to Y subscript 2 minus Y subscript 1 over X subscript 2 minus X subscript 1. So, we'll use this formula to find the gradient of this line right here. Look at this. It's coming from the center and it's touching uh, this line right here at the circumference. So, we can find the gradient of this. We come and use the idea of perpendicular. So, we shall say this is x1, y1, x2, y2. So, this is x2, y2. 1 1 so we can say what is our y2 it's a 5 minus y1 y1 it's a 3 over x2 that's a 4 minus a 2 which is x1 here and this will give us a 2 over 2 our gradient is a, a 1 okay so now we've known the gradient the slope of this line from here to here Okay, so we can use now the idea of a perpendicular. Look at this. When you've got M1, okay, or we just say M, the original gradient, which is M, times M1, this must give us a negative 1. So let me just talk about this. When you've got a gradient of the original equation, in this case, this is the original equation. Its gradient is a 1. While the gradient, when you want to find the gradient of the perpendicular, this is a perpendicular. So its gradient will be found by using this formula. Okay? Because when you multiply the two gradients, we must get a negative 1. Here it's 90 degrees. So the moment you hear perpendicular, just know that it's 90 degrees. And when you multiply the two gradient or the, the gradients of the two equations, you must get a negative one. But look at this. We know the gradient of the original, this one, which is a one. We can write it right over here. And then here we've got m1 is equal to negative, uh, negative one. Okay? So we now know that the gradient of the original is a one, while the gradient of its perpendicular line, we don't know. So we solve for M1. So when we solve here, M1 will be equal to negative 1. So the gradient of this line is negative 1. Now that we've known the gradient, since we've known the gradient, we can now use the formula for finding equation of a, a straight line. So let me show you what it means. So here we can say y minus y1 is equal to m open bracket x minus x1 okay so this point is the point that we are going to use don't get here i know there are ones here don't get this one we now want to get uh, the point which is involved uh, with this line the line that we are finding so it's right here meaning this will be our y1 uh, x1 and the y1 so we can substitute here y minus y1, it's a 5, equal to the m there, m is a negative 1. We just found the m to be equal to negative 1. Open bracket, x minus x1 is a 4. So I'm using this point, y, it's a, y1, it's a 5, x1, it's a, a 4. So you simplify. This, of course, is going to give us a y minus 5 is equal to negative x plus 4. 
And when you simplify further, this would be y is equal to negative x plus 9. When this minus 5 comes this side, it will be 4 plus 5, which will give us a 9. And this is a, an equation that we're talking about. Now, what if I said find the, the coordinates, okay? The coordinates of point C, this point C. To find the coordinates of point C, you're just going to say here the y-axis will be equal to 0. The x-axis we don't know, but the y-axis we know it's a 0. This is called x-intercept. You're going to get this equation, y is equal to negative x plus 9. And where there is y, you put a 0. Because we know that y-axis is a 0, so this will be 0 equal to negative x plus 9. It's all for x, this will just, will just be equal to a 9. So the x-axis here, it's a 9. So we can say the point here, it's a 0, comma, comma 9. Thank you so much for watching. This has been Isichama Jeko. Please keep on watching. Subscribe if you've not yet done so. For more and more videos. Thank you and bye-bye. Uh,